Immigration and Customs Enforcement preparing to begin nationwide raids tomorrow in at least 10 U.S. cities, part of an effort to arrest thousands of undocumented people with outstanding deportation orders. Christina Coleman is live in Los Angeles with more. Christina. Arthel, this reinvigorated effort comes just three weeks after President Trump delayed the mass deportation sweep, hoping Congress could reach a bipartisan deal on immigration reform. Now this big effort is back on, and so is the outrage across the country. Immigration activists upset and concerned. Mass demonstrations underway in Chicago, where protesters are calling for the abolition of ICE and the closure of detention centers. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot on Wednesday announced the city was permanently barring its police department from sharing databases with immigration officials. In Aurora, Colorado yesterday, hundreds of protesters demonstrated outside a detention facility. Some of them even pulled down the American flag that flew in front of the building and raised the flag of Mexico in its place. Local media also reporting protesters spray painted abolish ICE messages on a Blue Lives Matter flag that also flew outside of the facility. This ahead of planned raids in Denver. And people also protested at a detention center here in downtown L.A. Demonstrators calling for the undocumented migrants inside to be released and the facilities to be shut down. They say the planned ICE raids are designed to cause fear in the immigrant community. Individuals are in fear and it's real. Trauma is part of what is going on. I hate to say that. I don't even want to say that it's the new now. But supporters of the Trump administration say the planned raids are necessary and will be carried out carefully. The professional men and women of ICE will methodically plan these operations to target the people that they know have been ordered by a judge to be removed. They'll methodically go through and find these targets and do it in the, in the safest way possible. And, and our heart goes out to them. We want them to be safe while they, while they conduct these operations. Uh, it's an important thing to do. Some authorities in so-called sanctuary cities continue to deny cooperation to federal authorities. And as for here in California, our Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, tweeting a video this week reminding immigrant communities of their rights.